Om Namah Shivaya. Good evening. Welcome back to In The Quid. This is 4th August 2023, 7, 10 p.m. And in this video, there are two things that I have to document. Of course, for that, I have to first show you a video that I made uh, for some context. Let me play this. This video is my official first steps into VFX. So we're becoming a VFX artist now. That's what it is. So with this video, what are the th things that I need to document here? Firstly, the fact that when you have a particle system and you want it to bounce off of a surface, how do you do that? Because I was trying to bounce them off and they were going inside the floor every single time. That is one thing. And the second thing is shadow catcher. That's very, very important and interesting. And uh, one more thing you see in the background that there is uh, this flag with some sort of wind simulation happening. It's not that strong actually. I would want to have it a little stronger so that it's a little more apparent that the flag is moving and everything and i feel like it's not blending in very well with the environment but anyway this whole thing was made inside blender uh, this way using the uv project method where uh, you take these planes and put them here and you add a uv project modifier on them and you put them on a project cam a project cam here cannot see what I'm showing project cam which is coming through where F spy okay we use the F spy on this image this particular image to get a camera focal length like whatever the right focal length for the camera should be which in this case is 73.7 .7 degree or 24 millimeter 24 mm is like a good good point okay now first point how does that uh, thing work right for the if you see the stars here when they're falling down they're actually bouncing off of the floor and they're not like going through the floor so way that happens is you want to come into your particle settings with your particle emitter whatever system come into particle settings and importantly two things one is you want to check size deflect this size deflect is very important for that to happen and secondly uh, object scale this is an important thing which i don't think everyone talks about uh, and that is object scale so the original object like which is this one here the star situation if i just model it using regular polygonal modeling if i was to take this object and make it big okay and control a apply scale and for this particle emitter over here the scale i would keep at default of 0.1 or whatever now when you were to play this Hmm, interesting. It's not going in through. Let me uncheck size deflect. <laughs> now that I actually want to show what that issue was, it is not quite happening. But anyway, for a good check of sorts, you don't want to be messing with the uh, over here. What you the best thing you can do is come in here and uncheck object scale. So we're not taking into account how big or small this object which you are instancing is. We're just dealing with the scale over here in your render render tab whatever the scale you want to be you want to make them bigger or smaller and you want to randomize them okay so that was about particle system and uh, the way this collision happens is you collection collision collection you can come and select this projection uh, collection but i think i've added that here in effect a collection no okay so for the collection i haven't done anything here i have taken this plane at the bottom and to this i've added a simple collision no rigid body no nothing only collision and here damping set it to 0.2 if you put the damping to zero then oh i think i've got what i was trying to yeah this is exactly what i was trying to talk about is that the object was going a little bit inside every single time through the floor which is uh, an effect i do not kind of want so that is fixed by damping on the effector object the plane on which you're putting it oh now it's actually going <laughs> i think uh, this is about your particle system you want to refresh it once so come into particle system and change the numbers to like 31 so that refreshes the particle system yeah and now it's bouncing right i hope so yeah mostly it is so if things are not updating even after changing these settings just come in here and play with the number of particles that essentially refreshes the simulation 
and the way this bottle is coming down i've just manually keyframed it i also tried to add like rigid body or particle system with one number of particles on it and make it work but it wasn't quite working okay so that was one thing second thing the thing that i huh? what happened to my flag here oh yeah because i think one of the particles is messing with it <laughs> i don't remember it having such high strength the wind is at a strength of what there's a force called wind here which is at a strength of 100 but it wasn't quite acting in the first render that i did here it seems to be anyway the second thing is if you see the renders that i've made i will come into my render here i did firstly i did quite a few four viewport renders just to understand the timing when put it together with the music and then i took test frames so i needed to have the plane at the bottom from my projection and everything i couldn't take that out because the bottle's shadow is something which is important in compositing uh, because if the bottle is lacking shadow it will look like very fake as in you just put something in it but a major part of compositing is for natural lights and shadows to be there so even if you look at the lights over here i've tried matching the lights on the street of the frame and everything uh, and so importantly i needed to have shadow on the floor but i could not have this floor at the bottom because uh, then i would have to model every single bit out and then like put them on separate things and it was just getting very very problematic so i figured out a way where you can have this floor here right when you render now when you're going to render view here the beautiful thing that's going to happen is you're going to have the the shadows being caught by the floor but the floor itself is not going to get rendered so you can just put this on top of your uh, existing video and call it a day so how does that happen that's very simple you want to come into your object data properties and in your object data properties inside visibility you want to check shadow catcher and if you actually hover over it it gives you exactly what it does only render shadows and reflections on this object for compositing renders into real footage objects with this setting are considered to already exist in this footage objects without it are syn synthetic objects being composited into it so that was the second important point and uh, with that you can come in and inside after effects easily make your composite with a little bit of music and everything so over here you see i've just pl placed this on this kind of a render for this also did five renders so you see the shadows of not just this but also the stars falling is being caught and then the shadow of the bottle is coming in and looks a lot realistic and now i just place it on top of my original video and towards the end i've added a little bounce to the bottle but i've been asked like part of feedback is to increase the bounce on the bottle and that is it so yeah all under 10 minutes and i'm there is uh, yesterday when i went to office i spent a lot of time making buildings and city buildings using a buildify blender add-on which is beautiful i want to talk about that either tomorrow or in a later session when i'm actually uh, have when i've actually rendered that video out because uh, that will give a little more context of what it is that i'm talking about so that's it for today's documentation thanks so much for being in the code i'll catch you tomorrow or whenever maybe not tomorrow maybe tomorrow peace